last day on the Derwent and um, it's now about 25 to 11 and it's the uh, 4th of July on Tuesday and uh, we're on the barrage pontoon here at uh, Barnby Barrage and you can just see there there's some lights that are red on the end of the pontoon and when the lock keeper turns them to green we can go which will probably be in the next few minutes I would have thought and then we'll be off into the barrage doing it right and we've got about an hour journey going with the tide uh, upstream to Selby and hopefully we're going to arrive at Selby in slack water there we are the lights have turned green and uh, we're on our way just up around the corner now to the barrage Pays on the other front. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to tie on, but uh, uh, Steve did say that he might hold us for a little bit in the barrage um, just to check the flow, make sure we do arrive at, um, at Selby at slack tide. So, yeah, we might wait a little bit, but we're on our way. Just leaving the lovely River Derwent in the Pot Tin Canal up there. Really, really enjoyed it. I recommend to anybody that's um, coming past this way on the use to pop in and have a look. It's really nice. It is quite choppy now. I think we're just going straight into the wind and the tide's going with us, so it's, yeah, it's kicking up quite a, quite a few little waves. kilometers to Selby Town Swing Bridges to request a swing call VHF Channel 9 now and report location to as Barlow Reach so yeah we're five kilometers from the swing bridges so I think we're doing right for time we don't want to get there too early because we want to be there when it's slack tide so that we can just drift straight into the lock but, uh, I think that's going to be about uh, quarter to twelve Stick right out away from the inside of that bend, we don't get caught on any sandbanks. Uh, 
now. Swing around now. So as we're approaching this bend, it's, it's a job to see it really, but um, you notice that I've gone quite quite wide. And um, I think I was just uh, weary of being on the inside of the bend because when we came down, it was quite low water. And um, yeah, you could uh, you could see a lot of silt on the inside. So I, I think I was over cautious. So I went to, towards the outside and um, you can't see it very clearly on this footage, but you can see the front heading towards these trees. Um, but to get the front to come out, I had to push the back in even further. So you can you can just about make out the sound of some snapping branches. But uh, unfortunately they didn't all snap and there's one that was about three inches three inches in diameter which was uh, just above the height of our boxes but low enough to swipe through the middle of our our um pram hood and um yeah our new pram hood, which we only got in april it was absolutely wrecked it looks a right mess and um we were both on the back of the boat as well uh so it's a bit it's a bit scary you had to duck down and yeah we, we didn't know what was gonna was gonna happen quite but uh i had to turn I had to turn the back of the boat round to get the front out. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it got worse before it got better, but eventually we got out in the middle of the river and uh, assessed the damage and it wasn't too bad. I stupidly tried to get my hand out to try and pull the framework down and got it caught on one of the uh, one of the bits of um, tree and cut my finger. But other than that, we were pretty much unscathed. Well, physically anyway, <laughs> mentally it's a bit different. And uh, so yeah, so we came through it. Um, but uh, I, I was it's quite upsetting, it really, really was. I, and because it's a new pram, I, 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 to start with, I thought oh, we actually wrecked it. And, and you can see from these pictures here, it, it is quite a mess. So anyway, uh, after we'd uh, got into Selby and uh, we'd, I'd calmed down a little bit, I decided to take a closer look to see uh, how much damage he's actually done because he did look quite bad. Ripped down the uh, the, the pram wood, made a bit of a mess of it really. Um, yeah, sort of bent all the brackets up and uh, tube inside. Completely broken off and that one's bent. But um, uh, we're going to try and get it. Nobody died. Nobody died. We're going to try and get it together and um, see if we can make it make shift for now and get some new bits um one of the poles was completely snapped um the hinge brackets that attached to the boat three or four of them were bent quite badly and um, anyway so i took them off and straightened them up and um one of the, the middle pole was completely twisted but uh i managed to just twist that round by hand so it was, it was usable and um I, I found a bit of tube i could use to to join the broken one so repaired that that evening glued it all together and um yeah and, and the, the canvas strangely was was pretty much unscathed there's a, a couple of little scuff marks on it and there was a little bit that ripped to the corner which um Katie made a really good job of repairing she stitched that back up and um and the side one of the side um windows came out completely so um the little poppers um they'd all just broken through they haven't t t torn the um fabric they just broken through the washers and the, and the little tangs that bend over they just came right through so i know most of those were either still attached to the canvas or somewhere lurking in the boat so once i'd found them all i uh, i had a few spare ones fortunately because i didn't find all of them but uh, i managed to put all them put all them back on and, and and so that was reinstated as new really so now um i know it look, looks not i know it's not right and kate does but uh, on, on first glance it wouldn't really know that um and we've done any damage but we might end up getting some new hoops for it i think but uh, as it stands at the moment it's, it's it's usable so yeah i'm sticking with it so that wasn't the end of our problems because as we approached uh, selby lock um, the lock gate was just about being opened but also um, the flow of the water was still going with us so i should have really have turned around and come back into the lock the other way but uh, i thought i'd be okay just going in but as you can see as i go in the front goes around and we have a quite heavy clout on the gate.
don't see much there, but um, it uh, it was quite a noise, and it's a bit scary when it happened. But we got in, which is the main thing. So yeah, you can see here. Yeah, um, just you look down there. As a that was where the fender used to be. There's a bit of a clout on the side of the boat there. Not real damage, just a bit of paint taken off. Um, but that's our fender that was on the side. And uh, as you can see, it sort of almost split it in two and broke the rope. But it did its job. It saved the boat. So, yeah, no harm done, really. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a, bit of a mistake, really. Like I said earlier, it's uh, another lesson learned for us. So that's about it for this vlog then. Um, yeah, from here we'll be going back out onto the tidal ooze, but going further north now, up towards York and Ripon in the, in the next few vlogs. Okay, so thanks very much for watching again, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.